Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> Welcome. Nice to see you one more time. Welcome back from the uh, weekend, right? So I hope that you enjoyed your relax, your break, your vacation, the way that you want to call it, right? So, but we are back, okay? It's Monday. Uh, it's like the last, last, um, the last week, right, for this course. So, nice. Remember, it's good because um, you are going to be in a different level, right, in the next level. And that is good because that is the idea, right? Be, you know, getting more knowledge, gearing experience, learning a little bit uh, every single day, right? That's the idea. Nice, uh, appreciate that you are on time. Appreciate your cameras, right? For the ones that are already with the camera on. Appreciate it and let's start, okay? Let's see, uh, Liliana Jamilet. How are you, Liliana Jamilet? I am okay, teacher. You are okay. Nice. Very good. What about you, Nelson Vladimir? Miss, good evening. I'm ready for the class, Miss. Very good, Nelson. Ready for the class. Okay. Let's see, Rodrigo, what's uh, today date? Oh, no. Is twelve June twenty twenty three. Okay, okay. So let's see. It is uh, Monday, right? And it's Monday, uh, June twelfth, twenty twenty three. Right. That's the day, Rodrigo. Very good. Uh, let's see, I know that there are some areas where it's raining, right? But try to be connected. Remember that this is the last, last, last week. And if you have missed one or two classes, it is like mandatory for you to be in the class, right? Because of the final score that you need to get at the end of the course, right? So if you miss one or two classes before, so please do not miss this week, okay? So you will get the last uh, minutes 
uh, for you to be in the target, right? For you to get in the score. So please be in the class no matter what, okay? So the, the weather is already, you know, it's already updating, it's changed, right? So ya estamos en invierno, supuestamente, right? So you know that at night, normally we have, you know, raining, right? So, so you need to think on plan A, B, C, D, E, right? Because you need to be connected no matter what, okay? So, ponga a cargar el teléfono, tenga ahí una laptop, computer, tablet, or another phone, lo que sea. Tenga listo por si uno de sus teléfonos falla, eh, tiene otra opción de cómo conectarse, okay? So, the thing is that you need to be in the class because if you are not connected, so you're not going to get any score, right? So, simple y sencillamente no está pierde los minutos, así sea por lluvia, sea por lo que sea, right? The time is running. So uh, let's start. Remember, this is the last week. So uh, I guess we already know that we are going to be working in the platform uh, with the last 50% uh, of the uh, of the section, right? So we already have 50 from last week, section number five. So this week we are going to complete the other 50% of the last section. And also we are going to um, complete the final exam, the final quiz, right? So eso es para esta semana. Finalizamos la sección cinco y el examen final. Si usted puede de acá al miércoles tenerlo Todo completo sería lo ideal, okay? So that would be the, the good part. So um, let me double check right here. What we have here. Um, I'm going to pass the attendance like always, and I would like to give you like um, the score, right? the one that you have until now. So, en la asistencia usted va a le va a aparecer o más bien puedo ver acá el porcentaje que usted ha acumulado hasta el día eh, jueves, right? So last, um, last uh, Thursday, right? Was the last day for the week. So, Hasta ese día está actualizado, ok? Voy a pasar el attendance and then I will mention the score that you have um, in the, the time, right? The time that you are connected. So this is the last week. Uh, let's see, please, uh, Berosli, let me know if you are here. Good evening. Good evening. Nice. Uh, Brenda Lisbeth, Lisbeth, I'm sorry. Brenda Lisbeth, no. Uh, Damaris Lisbeth. Damaris, no. Elisa Maria. Present. Nice. Eh, Javier Enrique. Pressing me. Thank you, sir. Let's see. Then we have eh, Jose Rodrigo. No está. Eh, Josué Rubén. Josué Rubén, no. Dios mío, Juan de Jesús. Juan de Jesús. Karen Elizabeth. Present. Nice, Karen. Let's see, Catherine Griselda. Present. Nice, Catherine. Leticia Margarita. Present. 
Nice. Uh, Liliana Abigail. Present. Nice, Liliana. Uh, Liliana Jamilet. Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, Marcos Alberto. Good evening, present, Miss. Gracias. Nice. Uh, Mario Alfonso. Mario Alfonso, no está. Eh, Marlon Alexander. Marlon, no. Es eh, el hijo present, dijo que no tenía activado el micrófono, se le había arruinado, al parecer. Ok, thank you. Betsy Milena de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Nice, Milena. Eh, Miriam Darlene. Present, Miss. Nice. Mirna Griselda. Mirna Griselda. Miss, eh, dice Marlon que no le funciona el micrófono. Who Marlon? Marlon Vázquez, Alexander. Bien, Mirna Griselda no está. Eh, let's see, Mónica Elizabeth. Present. Nice, Monica. Um, Nelson Vladimir. I'm here, Miss. Nice. Reina Margarita. Creo que ella ha escrito ahí en el chat. Present. Okay, uh, Ronald Rafael. Present teacher. Nice, Ronald. Eh, Sandra Elizabeth. Present. Nice, Sandra. Eh, Sonia Beatriz. Present. Nice. Tiffany Guadalupe. Present. Nice, Tiffany. Jenny Giselle. Present. Eh, Jenny Marisol. Present, Miss. Good evening. Good evening, nice. Yesenia Guadalupe. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Nice. So we are going to um, validate, validate the attendance uh, one more time at the end. So, eh, teacher, disculpe, me mencionó. Me levanté Chris un momento. Griselda Mejía, sí. Yes. Deje ver, Griselda, Griselda, Griselda. ¿Qué otro nombre tiene Griselda? Es su eh, primer mi, nombre. Mirna Griselda Mejía García. Verifique ahí que obtenga bien su, nume, su nombre en la plataforma porque solo ah, le parece sí. Griselda. Está bien. Ok, bien. Bien, eh, voy a mencionar el porcentaje. Recuerde que esto es lo que usted tiene hasta el día jueves, correcto, lo que usted ha logrado. Si usted no ha faltado, si usted ha estado presente los 60 minutos reglamentarios, usted debería de tener un... 75% más o menos ya de eh, la asistencia. Quiere decir que con lo que haga esta semana usted llega y sobrepasa el 80. Ok, voy a mencionar rápidamente el nombre y el porcentaje que tiene hasta el día eh, jueves. Lo que haga ahora va a aparecer mañana. Eh, Brosley Rosales, 75%, excelente. Eh, Brenda Lisset, 15.52. Eh, Damaris Lisset, 56.67. Eh, Elisa María, 75%. Javier Enrique, 36.88. José Rodrigo, 69.48. 
Eh, Josué Rubén, 75%. Eh, Juan de Jesús, 58.96. Eh, Karen Elizabeth, 70.42. Catherine Griselda, 61.77. Leticia Margarita, 73.96. Liliana Abigail, 69.58. Eh, luego sigue Liliana Elizabeth. Sí, no estamos. Liliana Yamilet. Perdón, 69.58. Eh, Marcos Alberto, 71.67. Eh, Mario Alfonso 53.54 Marlon Alexander 71.88 Milena de Los Ángeles 71.46 Miriam Darlene 73.13 Mirna Griselda 64 3.44 eh, Mónica Elizabeth 73.85 Nelson Vladimir 74.90 eh, Reina Margarita Hernández Quiero ver Nelson Reina eh, 56.35 Ronald Rafael, 68.23. Sandra Elizabeth, 71.56. Sonia Beatriz, 71.77. Tiffany Guadalupe, 71.88. Jenny Giselle, 75%. Eh, Jenny Marisol, 74.27. Y Yesenia Guadalupe, 9.17. Bien, ese es el porcentaje que usted tiene hasta el día jueves. La gran mayoría pienso yo que está súper bien. Al que le recomiendo que no deje de conectarse es este, las personas que estén abajo de 50. O sea, el que tiene he mencionado 50 y algo. Eh, Preocúpese definitivamente por, por no faltar, porque de lo contrario va a quedar con una puntuación bastante, eh, bastante baja por, por los días que hacen falta. Remember que son 60 minutos al día, right? 60 minutos. Si usted se conecta tarde, pues esto así va a ser el, 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 la nota. No piense que porque han um, um, contestado alguna pregunta que se hizo o la asistencia ya usted está este, aprobado no, no es así bien eh, permítanme denme un segundo no sé qué pasó acá voy a dejar de compartir porque esta cuestión no me ha Me ha populado el manual. Abrir, 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 abrir. Bien, ahora sí, deje ver, estamos aquí. Okay, now you can um, oops. ¿Qué pasa? Vamos 
sé por qué me da este error, Dios mío. Déjenme volver a abrir este archivo. It's really, really, really hot. I don't know where you are, but right here is really hot. In some areas it's raining as well, right? So, algunos lugares están que llueve. Bien, um, déjeme compartir la pantalla una vez más. Okay, now I guess you can see the screen, right? So let's see WH questions. Uh -huh. Tell me what is a WH question? ¿Quién recuerda? When, where, why? Okay, those are examples, right? Where, when, how, why. Okay, Which. okay. Which. Uh -huh. where, where do you live? Where do you live, Miss? Where do you live? So that's an example, right? That's a good question. That's an example. Where do you live? So we have the simple present WH question. So here in the book, we have just where, what, and how. Okay, but there are there are more, right? There are more like the ones that you already mentioned. Uh, let's see, uh, Berosley, help us, please. Read the first questions right here with the answer, please. Okay, where do you work? In a, in a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Las otras también. Okay. Uh, wait a second. No problem. Thank you. So let's see. We have right here uh, the questions, right? Where do you work, right? So remember do, right? We mentioned that do. It's the auxiliary for the simple present, right? Eso ya está claro. Que siempre que voy a formular una pregunta, voy a usar el do o el does, right? So that is part of the question. In this case, it's together with a WH, right? So where do you work? Okay, so the place, right? Where? What do you do? I guess those two questions are clear. Now, if I say, how do you like it? How do you like it? So, ¿qué le estoy preguntando? ¿Qué te gusta hacer? Te gusta. Remember que te está preguntando, ¿dónde trabajas? ¿Qué haces? Okay. So the answer is, in a hospital, I'm a doctor. So how do you like it? I really like it. Okay. So yo le digo, hey, do you like what you do? Okay. Le estoy preguntando que si a usted le gusta lo que usted hace. Okay. So esta question, how do you like it? No le está preguntando en sí que si le... Qué eh, tanto gusta sería algo así. Como qué tanto o cuánto Exactly, gusta. exactly. How do you like it? Ok. So como qué tanto te gusta lo que haces, right? Tu, tu trabajo. Ok. I really like it. Let's see. Continue. Marcos Alberto, read the next three questions, please. Right here in the middle. Mm, that's... Where does it work? I'm in a hotel. What does, what does he do? He is a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Perfect. Thank you, Marcos. So now we have the other auxiliary, right? Does. Dijimos que el does es para un sujeto, un él, un ella, un animal, una cosa, right? He, she, it, okay? Where does he work? Okay, usted quiere preguntarle a alguien sobre otra persona, no dónde trabajas tú, sino que dónde trabaja él, ella. Okay, 
Where does he work? Ah, in a hotel. What does he do? ¿Qué hace esa persona o qué hace él? Ah, it's the manager, right? And how does he like it? Eh, ¿Qué le parece el trabajo? Okay, so it's okay. So remember, do and does, do and does. No me vaya a confundir esos auxiliares para formular una pregunta, ya sea con el presente simple o como una WH questions, right? Uh, let's see, Sandra Elizabeth, help us read the third and the last sentences, questions right here. Mm, okay. Where do they work in a restaurant? What do they do? They, they, wait, they, wait, they. How do they like it? They hate it. Nice, thank you, Sandra. So where do they? So in this case, since we have the subject they, so we know that the auxiliary will be do, okay? So you can add any, any, any WH question, but with the correct auxiliary, right? Where do they work? Oh, in a restaurant, what do they do? They are waiters. How do they like it? They hate it, okay? So let's see the practice, okay? Let's see if we are able to, practice with a partner, okay? So, um, let me take a screenshot right here. And we are going to work in pairs, okay? It says complete the, these conversations, then practice with a partner. So, uh, you will have to complete the questions. Some of them can be um, WH questions, right? So, ve ahí si es una WH o es solamente un do or does el que hace falta, right? So, we are going to create four groups and it will be like uh, seven people in the group. Please try to work in the exercise and we are going to come back in four minutes, right? So, in four minutes, we continue with the answers. Are we clear what we are going to do? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Just let me send the picture right here because you need it. So let's do it right now. Let me open the rooms.
Okay. Uh, welcome back. I don't know if you finish um, the exercise, but let's see the answers, right? Because of the time, we need to take advantage of the time. So let's see, Jenny Marisol, please uh, go with the number one. You are letter eight. M, let's see, uh, Tiffany, you are letter B. So go ahead, Jenny and Tiffany. That would be Jenny uh, Marisol. Okay. What do, does your sister do? <laughs> so my sister, she's a nurse. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Okay, nice. So what do your sister do? My sister, uh, she's a nurse. Uh, how, how does she like it? It is difficult, but she loves it. Okay, nice. Let's see the next one, uh, Liliana Jamilet. Um, uh, let's see, Darlene. Okay, you are eight. Uh, Liliana and Darlene is B. Okay. Is where does your brother work? Continue. At the I for he he's a pilot. A pilot. Oh, how does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Okay, so that would be, what does your brother do? Okay. Oh, let's see, where does your brother Work. So, aquí le sería la pregunta donde, right? Where does your brother work? Donde trabaja tu hermano? Porque vea la respuesta. It says at the airport. He's a pilot. Okay, so that can be the, the correct one. Nice. Let's see. Then it says, um, oh, how does he like it he doesn't really like it okay so that would be the answer let's see the next one number three um rodrigo you are letter eight um let's see marcos b letter b marcos alberto Who's letter eight? Okay, I was Rodrigo. So Sandra Elizabeth, please be letter eight. And Marcos, be letter B. Okay, teacher. Uh, permítame. Where do your parents, what they do? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember what do they do. I am an office in the city. What do you do? I am a student. I see. Where do you have your class? They're good. I like them a lot. Okay, okay, let's see. It says right here, right? So your parents, their jobs, vean la respuesta. I guess they like them, okay? Yo creo que les gusta, okay? So, entonces, ¿de qué está preguntando? Que si les gusta, el, el, le gusta el trabajo a sus padres, right? How do your parents like their jobs okay how do how how do your parents 
like their jobs. Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember. Um, in an office in the city. Um, I don't remember. Where do they work? Donde? No me acuerdo donde trabajan ellos, right? Where do they work? Ah, in an office in the city. Okay, that would be the place. And the last one, let's see. Uh, Nelson Vladimir B, letter eight. And let's see, Berosley, letter B. Okay. okay. What do you do? I am a student. I see. How do you like your classes? They are good. I like them a lot. Okay, nice. Thank you. So that will be what do you do? Okay, ¿qué haces? Oh, I'm a student. I see. So acá sería. I see. Do you like your classes? Look at the answer. They are good. I like them. I like them a lot. So aquí sería, how do your, let's see, I see, do you, do you, see, sí, sería how, right? Porque le estaría preguntando, how do, do you like your classes? Que tanto te gusta, que tanto te parece, right? They are good, I like them a lot. So, how do you like your classes? Que tanto te gusta la clase o las clases en plural? Okay, they are good, I like them a lot. Now, let's see, right? Two more sentences, questions, okay? Escriba en su cuaderno, two more questions. Ahorita, sí, rapidito, en dos minutos, okay? WH, okay, WH can be what, can be where, can be how, can be which, can be whose, can be um, let's see how much, how many, can be any other uh, WH question, no necesariamente los tres que tenemos aquí, puede ser otro, okay, so do it right now. And don't forget the, the auxiliary, right? Okay, so we're ready. Let's see. Let's start writing down the, the questions in the chat. It's raining where I am, okay? Si escuchan ahí ruido es porque se vino ya la lluvia. Pónganlo en el chat, please. Okay, let's see the questions that we have now. It says, uh, where do you live? Okay, where do you live? Let's see what else. Solo esa, where do you live? Just send you Guadalupe, nice. What does she look like? Liliana Jamilet, nice. Just the question mark. Signo de pregunta. Let's see how do you how do you like dance? Um, Nelson Vladimir. Ahí estaríamos. Sí está bien, pero como un poco fuera de contexto. ¿Cómo te gusta bailar? 
No sé si eso es lo que quiere preguntar, Nelson. ¿Cómo te gusta bailar? O que si te gusta bailar. Pero sería si, es... si te gusta bailar. Ah, ok. Entonces sería do you. No es ah, okay. una WH. Do you like dance? Um, where do you from? Where do you? No. Acá estas son, estas son, las, son del verbo to be. Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? Ok. Ok. Where are you from? Ajá, uh -huh, Lilian, nice. Uh, how do you like chicken? How do you like chicken? Ok, Jenny Marisol, where are the restrooms? Darlene, Liliana, Abigail, what do you want to eat today? What do you want to eat today? Uh -huh. What does your mom do? Nice, Elisa, Maria, where do you like to go? Where do you like to go to dance? Marlon Alexander, where do you like to go to dance? Okay, very good. Um, what do you like to do? Sandra Elizabeth, question mark. What do you like to do? Uh, where are you from? Where are you from? What time is it? Se, Yesenia Guadalupe, esas preguntas sí están bien, pero nos hace no son preguntas del presente simple, son preguntas de el verbo to be, are, is, verbo to be, aquí necesitamos con auxiliar do or does, do you like fruits, Rodrigo está bien, pero esta es una uh, simple present question, right, no es de wh, do you want a cup of coffee, lo mismo Giselle, está bien, pero es una Simple question, no es una WH. What do you do in your free time? Very good. What does she in the park? Acá Reina Margarita, no sé qué me quiere poner. No es pregunta. Falta el signo de pregunta y, y está incompleta. What does Adam... What does Adam during, eh, Leticia Margarita, ahí falta algo en esa oración, en esa pregunta. Where are you now? Okay, uh, Tiffany, why doesn't your sister sing? Eh, la primera es una oración con el, una pregunta con el verbo to be, y la segunda es una expresión negativa. What song do you like? Acá Jenny Marisol, me imagino que usted quiere preguntar como ¿Cuál es tu música, canción favorita? Aquí el WH question que competiría sería Which? Which is your favorite song? Or which type of music do you like? What does she in the party? Reina Margarita, ahí sí no, 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 no me cuadra esta pregunta. Where do you like to go on vacation? Marlon Alexander, very nice. What do you fruit favorite? No, José Rodrigo, no, esta es una, una bird to be. What is your favorite food or what food do you prefer? Where do you study? Muy bien, Abigail. How do you like coffee, Nelson? Very good. Uh, where do you study? Where does she work? What does Adam do during the week? Okay, Leticia Margarita. What does Adam do? So nice, because of the time we are going to stop, right? But the idea is that you need to be able to create your own WH questions. Do you like K-pop? Eh, Mónica, sí está bien, pero es una pregunta que no es WH, es una simple uh, terms. What do you like? What 
do you like music? Mm, no, Yesenia Guadalupe, por ahí. Creo que sería otro contexto, otro WH question, okay? So let's continue, okay? So we have right here a conversation. Perdón, no sé si me escuchan. Creo que sí, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. sir. Sí, me... Ah, okay. So es que siento que yo no escucho, pero bueno. Eh, let's continue, okay? So that's exciting. That's exciting. This is the name of the conversation. What is exciting? ¿Qué dijimos que era eso de exciting? Emocionado, emocionado, emocionado. Emocionado, right? So this is a conversation between uh, Richard and Stephanie, right? It says, hey, Stephanie, I heard you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are the teams with you? Not bad, on a fire, fire now, you know, that's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous, okay? So do we have new words right here? Habrá alguna palabra que no la hayamos visto antes? No bad. Yeah. Not bad, okay, mm -hmm. so it's great, that's a perfect, not bad. Uh, how are things no, with you? Okay. Not bad, okay, so no mal, right? No tan mal, no tan mal. So, alguien puso ahí en el chat, the students are terrific. What is the meaning of that sentence? The students are terrific. Terribles, I think. Uh -huh. Esa palabra la vimos. Si yo digo, the students are terrific, ¿qué estoy diciendo? Son tremendos los estudiantes. El, son terribles. No. Los estudiantes son terribles. No, lo voy a reprobar y yo creo que los esto... Los estudiantes lo... son traviesos. No, Ay, peor no sé. todavía. Me están poniendo en mal a los estudiantes ustedes. Busquen esa palabra. Lo vimos, ¿eh? Ustedes son ah, fantásticos. Ah, nada que ver con lo que ustedes están diciendo. <risa> ok. So, los estudiantes son estupendos. Los estudiantes son increíbles. Los estudiantes son fantásticos. Terribles, tremendos. Mire, ves, nada que ver. Así, es que así, se, hacen los, se, lee, así se hacen los chambres. Es que como es, es parecido a la palabra terribles en español. Por eso. Terrific, terrific. Es un adjetivo eh, Calificativo. positivo, positivo. Ok, si usted busca en su diccionario, en su teléfono, terrific, es un positive adjective, que quiere decir espectacular, los estudiantes son grandiosos, ok, so, si yo le digo, um, um, you are terrific, imagínese, va a decir usted, la maestra me dijo tremendo ahora, no, le dije que está Excelente, bien, muy excelente, right? That means terrific. Uh, what else? Esa suena como terrorific, algo así va. <ríe> Por eso so, que, así pero, suena. Terrorific, o sea, se, se ve más o menos, no porque no suena igual, ¿verdad? Ajá, de hecho hay una palabra en negativo que se parece. Si yo le digo terrible, ahí sí, terrible, terrible. But this one, terrific, fantástico, okay? So, let's see. Uh, fire, fire, el, el bombero, right? Soy un bombero. I'm a bombero. Now, you know, that's exciting. ¿Qué dijimos que era? That's exciting. Emocionante. Es emocionante, emocionante. ¿okay? Emocionante. 
Uh, but it's a very stressful job. Muy ¿Qué es esto de stressful? Un trabajo muy estresado. De algo así. Pero es un, es un trabajo muy estres, estresante. Es un y trabajo a estresante. veces es peligroso. And sometimes it's dangerous. Dangerous means peligroso. Ok. Y algunas veces peligroso. Ok. So, uh, we have time just for one couple to practice. Ok. So, let's see. Griselda Mejía. You will be Stephanie and Ronald Rafael. Please be Richard. Ronald Rafael. Bien, creo que no, no está. Este... Uh, Marcos, please. Marcos Amy. Alberto, you are Richard. Go ahead. Hey, Stephanie. I heard you have a new job. Yes, I am Fisher. Matt, I went from high school. How do you like it? It's great. The store I heard it. How are things with you? Not bad. I am fire now. Firefighter now. Do you know? That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, thank you, Marcos and Griselda. Let's see. Uh, I'm teaching math. Okay, TH, mad. Um, let's see, high school, high school. Uh, let's see, fire, fired. Okay, fire, fired. Um, exciting, stressful, stressful. Sometimes dangerous, dangerous. Okay, so um, we are going to stop right here because I need to validate the attendance. Um, let me let me see the file right here. Uh, please validate if you are here. Ya le había pasado la asistencia, pero hay este, unas personas que no contestaron al inicio. Brenda Lisbeth. No está. Damaris Lisette. No está. Eh, José Rodrigo. Rodrigo, right? So ahí está. Eh, Josué Rubén. Josué Rubén. Juan de Jesús. Mario Alfonso. Miss Josué Rubén aparece conectado, quizás no le funciona el micrófono, pero sí aparece conectado. Josué Rubén, ah, sí, ahí está poniendo en el chat. Vaya Rubén. Eh, Juan de Jesús no tiene asistencia. Mario Alfonso. Eh, Damaris y Brenda. Solo demás, sí. Ok. So time is over. Uh, please start working in the platform. No espere llegar al miércoles para empezar a trabajar porque ya a partir de mañana le van a empezar a, a exigir que ya tenga el eh, 80% como mínimo de la plataforma. Okay. So time is over. Thank you for your time and everything. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. So bye bye. bye. Good night. Good Take night. care. Good night. Bye. Good night.